Hi guys, how are you sir? Today I am going to talk to you about 10 instances where people have been killed by dogs. Subscribe to me to watch more such videos. People were killed by dogs. Dogs are man's best friends. Agreed. They are loyal, loyal and trustworthy. Sometimes, things can go the opposite way and these animals turn against their owners and kill them. Though thought-provoking, some dogs will even eat their owners' carcasses. Kings are usually terrible and scary. They don't always make the news, but they do. Number 10 Bethany Lynn Stevens on December 13, 2017 22-year-old Bethany Lynn Stevens took two bulls for a walk in her pit but never returned. The next day her severely mutilated body was found in a field. Stevens had been killed by her dogs. The dogs protected her body and did not allow anyone to approach. Even the police stayed away for several hours until the animals separated from her. While waiting, police watched as one dog ate Stevens' body. The scene was so horrific and unbelievable that people speculated that Stevens was the victim of a rape and murder murder, not a killing of dogs. According to police, however, police concluded that she had been killed by dogs and had even released information about her death to calm people's nerves that the corrupt killer was not a robber. Stevens had left her parents' home before the attack. However, she kept the dogs at her parents' house. She lived nearby and used to see the animals every day to take them for a walk. This lasted until December 13, when the bulls in the pit turned to her. They pushed her to the ground and bit her head, face, throat, arms and hands. She bit her hands and arms as she tried to use them to fight the dogs. Number 09 Tanya Clem Tanya Klemke lived in Canberra, Australia with an ox-like dog in her pit. Dot. Until it kills her. On that unfortunate day in October 2017, neighbors called police after hearing a man scream at Klemke's home. Police arrived to find out that Klemke had been severely bitten. She died soon after. This person survived by receiving treatment for bite wounds. The dog knew how aggressive he was and even Clemke was afraid of it. Earlier, she had told her friends not to travel as her dog was attacking them. But she was reluctant to leave the animal because it saved her life during the theft. She could not put the dog outside because her fence was broken. The dog often barks and barks at neighbors. Sometimes it even went to their windows and looked at them as they did their business. Without warning, it attacked former neighbors, including children, and a clamky visitor. The friend needed 42 stitches. Number 08 Linda Oliver in 2013. 63-year-old Linda Oliver and her husband discovered a Rottweiler Mastiff dog roaming the streets. Some reports say it was a Labrador hybrid dog. The couple took pity on the animal and raised it. This innocent kind act was fatal when the dog attacked Linda a few days later. On the fateful day, Linda saw her adopted dog attack her little dog in the yard. She tried to stop the violent attack but the big dog targeted her instead. Severely wounded, she crept into the house to call her husband. She was pronounced dead at the scene. Meanwhile, the adopted dog remained in the yard where officers stopped it from entering the house. Officers shot it, but the dog escaped. It was later found and killed. Number 07 Mario Perry Witos in 2017. Mario Perry Witos was bitten by his stray dog while filming a documentary for the BBC. BBC staff were at Perry Witos home the night of the attack. They were interviewing and filming for a documentary on drugs. Perivoitos finished the interview and went to bed after suffering from epilepsy. It was because of the cocaine he had previously consumed. His Staffordshire Gone Terrier Major was overdosed with cocaine and attacked Perivoitos while he was in bed. Mary bit Perivoitos causes major injuries to the face and neck. The BBC staff tried to stop the attack, but it continued until police were able to enter the apartment 30 minutes later. 
Officers took 10 minutes to open the door, which was heavily guarded by the fashions of drug traffickers. Perry Witos later died at the hospital. The drug was found to contain eight times more cocaine and a heroin than the major approved drug limit. Number 06 Della Riley In August 2018, Della Riley was captured at her home in Cincinnati, Ohio. Her son ran outside for help, and neighbors quickly called for help. However, emergency responders came to find out that Riley's dog was attacking her. The dog was one of the two she and her boyfriend kept. The other dog was not involved. The cruel dog remained in the house and paramedics were unable to enter until police arrived to shoot the animal. One bullet struck Riley and pierced her abdomen. An autopsy revealed that she had not been shot and had died before officers arrived. Number 05 Phyllis G. Carroll in 2007, 63-year-old Phyllis G. Carroll was bitten by her dog. Carol kept two five-year-old chow mix dogs, large males and small females, in her home. Police have no doubt who was responsible for the attack. Even so, owning one is still beyond the reach of the average dog. Police believe Carol bit the male's lungs while she was preparing to feed the dogs. Carol fell to the ground where the mad dog began to bite her throat. Prior to the attack, Carol had often complained to friends that her dogs, especially males, were aggressive. Number 04 Kelly Chapman In 2008, 24-year-old Kelly Chapman was killed in her home by two bulls in her pit. Her body was found by her husband, Jason Chapman, who called 911 at Sunday at 6.49 p.m. The attack took place in the bedroom where the couple were sleeping with their dogs. Kelly sustained major injuries to her forehead during the attack. Some of the furniture in the bedroom was also damaged. Both indicated that Kelly was trying to fight the dogs. It is suspected that the dogs were sharpened when Kelly was caught. Kelly's death was not the first time a dog had been involved in the death at home. Another incident happened two years ago. In 2006, police raided Chapman's home during a drug raid. The couple's bulls hit the officers and tried to bite one and bite another. The dog was shot. Number 03 Lorraine May In 2008, Lorraine May, 74, to Florida, was bitten while trying to stop a fight between her dogs. He is the mother of 11-year-old Golden Retriever and her 6-year-old Australian Avera mixed son. The animals never came and were willing to fight. Although it has not been determined whether one or both of the dogs are involved, the bite can occur unintentionally. Maybe one dog attacked her because she was trying to break the fight wrong. Clearly, breaking a dog fight with one hand is inappropriate. A dog fight requires at least two people to stop. Each person lifts the dog's hind legs off the ground and separates the dogs. Do not grab the dog's head or body. Another method is to throw a blanket over the dog's head or throw something at them. If you have a sorry tube, you can also spray water. Number 02 Hill Andrew Williams Photo Credit NBC Los Angeles.com in 2009. 38-year-old Hill Andrew Williams was bitten by two of his dogs at his California home. The motive for the attack is not clear. But Williams is suspected of raping a 52-pound, 115-pound male bus and a 41-pound, 90-pound ivory female after interfering with sex. Neighbors saw Williams bleeding behind him and called the Rancho Mirage Police Department. A friend who arrived at the scene said Williams' hand was badly injured. Police found both dogs in the back. Meanwhile, Williams was pronounced dead at the hospital. Number 01 The unnamed woman and her son A 52-year-old unnamed woman and her 27-year-old son were killed by their Staffordshire Terrier in Hanover, Lower Saxony, Germany. No one was aware of the attack and emergency services were called only after the neighbor saw the body of the mother or son through the window. Firefighters grabbed the dog before reaching the bodies.
Unlike the United States, dog attacks are not uncommon in Germany. In an effort to reduce the number of molting, the Lower Saxony government has previously introduced a special dog detention license for those who wish to purchase a dog. Licensees are given a test before purchasing the animal, and a second test must be performed less than a year after purchase. Sandra Piovana The animals involved here are actually wolves and dogs. That is, a hybrid of a wolf and a dog. In 2006, 50-year-old Sandra Piovson was killed by nine wolf dogs in the backyard of her home in Westmoreland, Pennsylvania. Although the wolves were separated from the dogs, Piovan kept two Rottweilers. She was divided into three sections, her back being said to be three lanes wide. The wolves lived in one dog, their puppies lived in another, and the Rottweilers lived in the third. Piovan registered the wolf's dogs as dogs. That way, she would have no problems with the Pennsylvania Sports Commission authorizing people and facilities to own, breed and sell dogs to wolves. She also fed the animals raw meat, including rodents and other meats she could find. Neighbors often complain that the neighbor smells bad because of the stench of the meat and that the wolf's dogs caused a commotion at night. A friend said the wolf treated the dogs like wolves and considered Poivison to be the leader of the pack. One animal might have attacked her in an attempt to take over as pack leader. Prior to the attack, wolf dogs fought with each other and killed one of the older animals. Believed to be an attempt to rise to the top of the packing hierarchy,